by any chance take out my house tomorrow and take out 40 bucks. Um, but if not, let me know so I can take it out tomorrow. We're just going to take it out before Wednesday for the daycare lady. Those 40 bucks that you have in your, in your wallet, can I have them and I'll, I'll transfer them to my account? Okay, look, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, just transfer them over. Yeah, you can use those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the you can put your glasses on. Next. What's up, buddy? Why are you growling at me? Well, it may be a bit soggy, but that certainly hasn't deterred this fan base. A great crowd on hand to battle the raindrops at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Today it's the opener of a new NFL season as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Tennessee Titans. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, it's all led to this moment when they officially kicked this one off to get the season underway. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Nashville. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there in every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. <laughs> She sounds hungry. They'll keep it on the ground. It's done. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. Third play here. This opening drive as they're up against a third and five. They'll look to throw here. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their value. All right, Joe. I'll probably be on later. Hi, bro. I'll see you. Peace. Bye. Now is the Titans punter. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. Taking it about the 36. Get out of my way, the big pie. Just 33 following a 10 yard return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. All right, I know it's something that every team says every season, but they genuinely believe that this is their year, and having him a quarterback is a big part of that. They think he's poised for a huge season and can really be the type of player that brings out the best of each weapon 
strength that they have on this offense. Behind that type of performance, their goals are high. They envision a lot of wins and finishing among the league's best. And they're the ball. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Given 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also given the first down. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. And you use it up. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Now one for one, a lot more to go. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On play action, they'll throw out to his left. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. Oh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want it to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. And they'll run again. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles are on the board here first in the season opener. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. Come on, come on. Hey. They'll start this drive out on the ground. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Alert! Alert! Hey! Hey! Bring it. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Willis. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and six. Up the middle they go. It's Willis. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an Eagles. 
slow to get up. The medical staff checks on him. We'll step aside in this week one contest. And now the Eagles going to signal for a time. So far, pretty good. As we step aside Need, uh, in this first quarter. He has one rush. Well, no, he, he's well, he's my starting running back, so. Uh, he's got a touchdown. I mean, he got one touchdown. Back to throw now on first down. And that nearly intercepted. But the free safety rolling into position almost had it, but it's second down. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now a quick throw out wide to Myers. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feed down just inside the 45. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. That's right, he got third down there, but he cannot connect. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Okay, I see this great stats. Out right to Smith and Jimbo. And he takes us beyond the yeah. Five right, rushes, 22 yards. That's a quarterback, bro. It feels so nice to have a fucking quarterback again. Look at that. Play action here on first down. Oh, I try to try to throw that deep. That's why you have to load it. Well, on that one, they, they go with the play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop with the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Seventy-eight passing yards, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now they try the right side here. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking here. Back to throw. Going up top. And he backs it 
takes it away and it falls down incomplete. Offenses all over continue to be aggressive. And most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball, but oftentimes it attracts a little bit of extra attention. And it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. Now a second and ten. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. A short game that doesn't get on the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. Oh, there you go. Way to push the pile. The 20 to the 19-yard line. Just a game of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball is moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled them as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Decided to hit it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Second and four. Under pressure and Man, nobody was open. Back at the 26 yard line. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Ooh. And that is incomplete. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And they'll put up a stop sign there as his guys will get it. Can you dance up here so at least I can see you? Offense set to go again. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Oh, no. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Here's a second and two now from the 33. <laughs> They'll set up a throw. Now they set up the screen. That's going to be. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40 yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. For a second there, I thought that might be big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still. Ended up with a solid game. On first down, he'll drop the throw. And it's incomplete. No one's risking anything there on first down. And even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in the spot where the only people could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. There you go, Eddie. Yeah, buddy, are you ready for this one? What? Let's go now. They'll look to go. Short throw, and that's home by Mayer. And they'll get to the end of the game. It's heavy. It's heavy. I was not quibble about the game there. I'm not saying no. I'm not saying no. I'm not saying no. Because that's a tip, but you can get a situation. I'm not saying no. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. You're wild. Again, he'll drop the ball. 
out to throw. He did the same on my legs. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a good teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catches the ball and get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to throw again. Able to find Willis. And he's taken down inside the three. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Another catch point there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. They'll look to throw again. Throw caught there by Willis. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Pick up at 14 and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. But well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20 yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The first down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. He'll drop to throw, caught by Mayer. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So Charles there on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, he really does some damage in the end of the game. Now he's looking just to add to his totals. So the completion gets Hold on, Ty. I'm a bar. I get, I get, to you. I this is the time of the last I get, I get, I get, I get. The first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Now a signal with a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Daddy. 
So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before timer. Made his first, it's now from 42 yards out. And his kick is... It added 20 minutes. So we have to hurry up and win the... Win a women's done. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think get off on you game really fast. And then put it back on. Nineteen minutes, Daddy. Crazy. Yes, it is nineteen minutes. It's already nineteen minutes. Yeah, no, that's gonna take Mauricio. Just play do something else. Don't sit here waiting for me. It a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there, because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Keep 
for the quarterback. Hey, hey. Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Two yards on the pick out there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop the throw. Now into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Oh boy. Let's go. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. He shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Uh, throwing here to start to drive as they connect left side. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll drop the throw. Throws out left, it's caught by Williams. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Ball at the 14 for second and five. They'll set up to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Underwood. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. They're going to look to throw. His pass caught with the four. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Fired that one in there. It'll make connection on a nice in round. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. They moved there as they were able to connect. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Looking to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jackson Smith and Jigba there to make the grab. And the Eagles are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Elliott did on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now the Titans getting set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. We are through three quarters here on NFL kickoff. Back now in Nashville. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw here. 
Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. It'll go as a gain of four in second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and six. He gets it right back to Mayer. Two yards on the pick. Up. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because taking the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting it back on the set. <laughs> All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter? Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And it's intercepted. And the Titans are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Well, that interception at least offers them a glimmer of hope here in the fourth quarter. It certainly does if their offense goes out now and makes it pay off by getting into the end zone. And if it does, then they get a chance to get back out on the field and try and do it again. Maybe they can... And he can't escape and down he goes. Nolan Smith brings him down on the pass rush. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Ready! And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Let's go. They'll look to throw here. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. The Titans on third down. Lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. And this is going to be incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Alert. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to pick up the Titans first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allow him to convert on fourth and long. Again, he'll drop the throw. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. The throw over the middle taken in, and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 38-yard line. Back to throw again. Open man right side, Myers. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. They'll look to throw again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And now they're in the hurry up. Hey, hey, check that, check that. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And his throw here is incomplete.
They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now a handoff up the middle. Willis. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. This will be caught at about the 5. And he's able to get this down to the 5-yard line before he's out of bounds. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Back to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Nolan Smith. In there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at a fourth and goal here as they search for a late score. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. He'll drop to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense on, with a lot on. of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for them. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Ready. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Throw caught there by Willis. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Out of the gun now on third down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on four. Hey, hey. They'll try and run for it. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They'll set up a throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Here we go. Here From we go. the two now, second and goal. Looking to throw. Sinclair. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the drive there took six plays. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. And the Eagles are going to recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. 
Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Flush to his right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Out right to Smith and Jigba. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the connection, but not enough. Fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Titans are going to get the ball back on the turnover. They hold on fourth and goal. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. On first and ten, Sinclair. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. To throw again, Sinclair. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. So that a double whammy. Not only do you have to give away the football, but the two points mean this is now a two-score game. And two doesn't seem like much, does it? But it means everything in this situation because now they're going to have to look back and ultimately that might be the play that ends up deciding this game. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week.
How many rushing yards did you have week one?